Today's case study is based on a real company, Williams Plumbing. I met William a few months ago and William said business is absolutely brilliant. William's revenue grew from 35 to 42 million. His gross margin grew from 10.5 to 13.2. And EBIT, or earnings before interest and tax, grew from 3.7 to 4.6 million. William, like every other CEO, says business is great. My revenue, my margins, my profit are all growing. And my first comment to William is, your profit is an opinion. You can manipulate your profit. William, your balance sheet is an opinion. You can manipulate the valuations, your inventory value, your fixed assets values. The only fact in your company is your cash flow. And that's why I start every single presentation by saying revenue is vanity, profit is sanity, cash is king. Now, if we look at William and we ask the most basic question, William, what is your cash flow? I can absolutely guarantee you that every person sitting around your management table will give you a completely different interpretation. And my comment is, cash is a fact. You cannot distort your cash flow. So the first concept we're going to learn today is what is the definition of cash flow? After everything has happened, your net cash flow is described as if you start the year with $10,000 in your bank and you end the year with $1,000 left in your bank account, what is your cash flow? Cash flow is defined as the movement in your cash at bank plus your short and long-term debt. So if we look at William, William has got no cash at the bank. William's long-term debt has grown from 9 million to 10 million. William, what is your cash flow? You've borrowed 2.2 million short term. You've borrowed 1 million long term. Your borrowings have increased by 3.2 million. Every single month on your scorecard, you should be noting and measuring the movement in your borrowings plus cash at bank. Cash flow definition number one. What is the movement in your cash plus the movement in all your bank borrowings? That is your cash flow. What I say to every business owner is the bank knows your cash, so should you. Now, you need to become a storyteller. What a good storyteller would be saying is cash flow is the result of growth. People need money to grow. People also need money to fund management. Now, what does management mean? Every time you change the way in which you run your business, margins decrease, overheads grow, you drop your pricing, you collect slower. Every time you change the way you run your business, there's an impact on cash. What we need to understand is a concept called cash flow quality. Cash is the result of growth. Cash is also the result of changes in management. What cash flow story will show you is how to identify the quality of cash. What do the one percenters or one day changes do to your cash flow?